What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another day here in our lovely world here in the Diamond Kingdom. So today we have some drama, of course, because it's been a little while since I last saw you guys. And, um, you know, nothing is allowed to go perfect here in the Diamond Kingdom. It's just like real life and um, because, of course, yeah. <laughs> let's just get right into it so basically um, the other day I was building around our diamond kingdom and I happened to see lightning actually I think what I was doing I was cutting down these cherry blossoms which they've now grown back and these cherry blossoms grew in and I saw lightning I was like oh that was awfully close and I go down here I think I went to grab like a horse or something and I just see the lighthouse on fire and I was like well if there's if it's raining outside wouldn't the wouldn't the rain just take out the, the fire and unfortunately that was not the case and uh, unfortunately we have a huge crater in our landmark of the Diamond Kingdom which is really you know kind of an attack on the Diamond Kingdom so this is uh, obviously an interesting way to start off our video today, but I am glad you guys are back. I can show you guys this as I'm already getting ready for the project, Lighthouse 2.0. So we're going to be rebuilding the lighthouse um, in some form. I think I'm going to use snow um, instead of white wool, and I'm going to probably use something else instead of the red wool. Um, I know there's a type of wood in it's like crimson wood that I can use in the nether so if I get those red trees I can use red and white to make that look better instead of using wool so that's what we're looking at there uh, before we leave this area though I want to show you guys we've actually done a lot of work um, and I want to show you guys some things we've been doing but we've got a bunch of the horses in here um, I actually did name this mule let me get to our mule real quick because he now has a name. So this little guy over here, our Mr. Mule, his name is Junior. So Junior the Mule. So uh, that's a name that I picked out, not one you guys picked out, but I thought it was just perfect for this little mule. He's a little bit derpy and slow and, you know, I thought Junior was the perfect name for our little mule. So there he is, Junior the Mule. We have videos of him when he was just a little wee guy back in our old videos. So there you go, Junior. Now you are a member of our horse stable. Now we've got a lot going on in the horse stable since we last met. So Charleston is actually the horse I'm out with right now. We're gonna be breeding Penny and Blue. So Penny and Blue will be breeding. So we're gonna be doing that right now. And you can see we actually gave a name tag to Penny. That's how special she is to us. Uh oh, I think I used too many. Oh well. I think I messed up. And is there a baby? Where is the baby? Oh, look how cute. So there is Penny's baby. So we're going to take Blue out of the stable. No, 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 no. It's not safe out there. Believe me. No, 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 no. Our little horsey is uh, is straying way too far away. So Blue, Blue and Milo are brothers. So we're going to have these two together. And I guess Blue is a girl because it seems like she's staying with her mom. That's a little bit awkward. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to ignore that. We've also got another group of horses I want to breed because I traveled very, very, very far to get the white horse back in our world. Of course, you guys remember Beatrice who had passed away in a previous episode. Our white horse was my favorite horse and Beatrice eventually passed away. I was so distraught. Um, normally I wouldn't get that upset over losing a horse, but we have no white horses anywhere near us. So I basically had to travel like 1500 blocks, I kid you not, to find a freaking white horse. 
and uh, I'll show you guys how I did that in a later video. Basically, I built nether portals and I climbed to the top of the nether to transport because it would have taken me so freaking long to find that horse and bring it back. Um, we've also gotten llamas. We've got llamas in here, so we'll be doing a llama video at some point. We'll be doing um, a bird video because I've actually got birds crawling around here, so you guys will see that in the Diamond Kingdom. In the not so distant future, we've also got a chicken coop. So this is the update on the chicken coop. I don't like how it looks by any means. It's basically just because it works. It's the only reason I have it right now. And I think this might be full. Yikes. So we're going to have to uh, mess around with this a little bit because uh, we have too many chickens, which is not a bad problem, I guess, but it's not making our thing work here, so we don't want that. Our little grinder thing. And I'll show you guys an entire, I think I've shown you guys before. Basically, there's just um, a mine cart with a hopper running underneath. It's similar to the sheep collector up there. And basically, all it is um, is just it picks up the eggs underneath on a track, just going back and forth. And um, that's how we got that. So that's about it for that. Um, let me just breed these guys up. Eventually I'm just going to end up slaughtering them because we have so many eggs we do not need. Uh, so we're just going to end up using them for their chicken. And whoa, there is a lot of chickens in that coop. Wow. <laughs> Good Lord. So we have plenty of chickens. So we don't have to worry about that. We have enough chickens over here, so that's awesome. So we've got our little chicken coop over here, and it is loaded with chickens. So we've got that. We actually built a cocoa farm over here, so you guys can see that. And it looks pretty cool, which is a cocoa bean farm. Over here, we moved our little forest, so until we eventually expand out down here, our mansion, we are not doing that anytime in the not-so-distant future, so it's a good wood-collecting spot. So I just put a bunch of types of trees in here, and we'll be collecting trees. Um, this is going to be an outdoor area, so this is going to be where the pool is someday, so we'll be making a video on that. Um, these are going to be two separate rooms. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them quite yet. I'm thinking this is going to be like the like the uh, the den, the lion den, will be over here. Uh, this is a bit of like the hallway, and this is eventually going to be another room. I think it's going to be like the cleanup room or the the lava lavadora, the like the maybe we have like a little shower over here, um, like towels and stuff set up. So when you get out of the pool, you kind of have like a um, refreshment station area, I guess you could call it. This is all going to be glass, so we can just see right out into our lovely world and that uh, dungeon over there, because that is indeed a dungeon. This is all going to be glass. This is all going to be just open. I don't know if I'm going to do glass or just leave it open, because this is going to be like an outdoor room. So it's a little bit of, it's not even that I don't have the materials. I have so much oak wood now. It's more me just figuring out what I want to do um, before I actually build everything. So that's that. Uh, this is eventually going to be a dock, so it's going to take us to the basement, I guess you could call this. So this is going to be our little dock. I've done a little bit of fishing over here. We've got some coal, and we're going to eventually dig this all out. And this is going to lead to our um, monster spawner, which is down over there somewhere. So we'll be doing that. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. This is a really exciting build. It makes our house way bigger. So I'm really looking forward to this, and I hope you guys are as well. Uh, a bunch of you guys have been really awesome in the comments, leaving some comments and things like that. So, oh, I forgot to mention this too. So we actually expanded out this way. So this is going to be um, the horse stable. I don't know if I'm going to use this for a horse stable um, long term, or maybe I'll just make it smaller. I don't know yet. Um, I put some doors on here. I don't know how much I like this because it breaks up that a little bit. But I'm just worried about my horses leaving this room because what I do is I kind of come into this room when I go to my house, I drop off the horse, shut one of the doors, go up here, 
And this is where I do all my collecting. And I don't have to worry about the horse escaping this room because I like them in this room. Um, so that way when I come back, it's like, all right, I'm not chasing him around the world because um, we do have a large kingdom and it continues to grow by the day. So that's kind of what we're looking at there. Um, and you guys can see this too. I kind of just cleaned this up just so it looks a little nicer. Uh, we have a little bit of a pathway leading us to the horse stable, a little entrance there. So it's just more access for me. So it's a little bit easier for me to navigate the world uh, just a little bit. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys that in the next episode because we finally built our Skeleton Dungeon XP farm. So if you guys want to check that out, that'll be in the next video. Um, and real quick, I wanted to show you guys the pumpkin farm. I finally fixed it. We were having some issues and some technical difficulties. Heed this warning. What does that mean? Okay. But the farm is set up. Stop growing pumpkins or else. Or else what? Okay. That's a little bit weird. I don't know what's going on over here, but um, somebody's probably playing a prank on me. That's a funny joke. No, I'm not kidding. Oh, okay. That's weird. Huh. That's a little bit odd. But this is our little pumpkin. I think I'm going to change it up so it looks more like a jack-o'-lantern because it kind of looks a little bit derpy. But this is a little weird. I don't know what's going on. What is this? Because nobody has access to this world to join. This isn't like a server. So I don't know what what is going on over here um i don't know that's very odd and it's a little odd that i have orange wool all my sheep are orange my pumpkin farm isn't working and then when it starts working i get all these weird signs it's probably a prank someone's just messing with me i don't know that's very odd but anyway, I think we're going to cap the video here. I'll show you guys the Skeletron 5000 in the next video. I'm really excited to show you guys that. I'm going to be doing some work to that. Um, it's like in its beta form, but I'll show you guys that uh, in the next one. So guys, that's it for today's video. If you like what we're doing here at the Diamond Line, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, always taking recommendations for dog names because you guys can see our dog situation is growing by the day. Uh, we have more dogs. I actually put two tags on uh, Cookie and Cupcake. So that's all from you guys. So like I said, thank you very much, guys. Continue to name the dogs, the horses, uh, and I'll continue to be adding you guys to the supporter tower, which we'll be doing two additions to the supporter tower in the next video because I did forget in this one. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.